Pisces, welcome back to the channel, Water Sign. We are gathered here today on this good Sunday. <laughs> and they say Jesus was a Pisces. We're going to look into your love messages. So this is going to be a love message for you. The star card in the page of Pentacles, the healer. Jesus was a healer, right? He was a celebrity as well. Okay. Let's get into it. Like the video, subscribe to the, to the channel as you come into the reading. I want to add value here before we continue to grow. We're getting closer and closer to our 2,000 subscriber mark. Got something special planned for you guys. All right, let's get into it. We got a, uh, the star Aquarius. We got the Queen of Swords showing up in the free shuffle. Highest messages of love and light, please. And thank you, our spirit team, for Pisces. What do our Pisces collective need to know in regards to the matters of the heart? Just wanting to connect with them on a romantic level. What advice can we give our Pisces in regards to relationship? There you go, showing up in a reading as your uh, major arcana, the moon, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. So someone here, uh, very uh, intuitive, right? It's it's a feminine card, female's intuition, right? The moon uh, rules our emotions and our hidden desires and fears, our dreams, you know. I love the moon, so I resonate with the moon. At the bottom of the deck, we have the lover's card. Ooh, ooh. Pisces. We got the moon and the lover's card, Gemini. Eight of Pentacles, a perfectionist. Someone very consistent and thorough, though. A hard worker. There's abundance headed towards someone here. The Six of Cups, yep. Nostalgic memories, possibly past life feelings and emotions. This is my spiritual flirtation, my cure, my laughter, right? Sharing of the emotions. Mm -hmm. So you definitely have, yeah, a past life, um, either a past relationship, a past friendship, or indeed some sort of a soul past life connection. We have a soulmate headed towards you, possibly a twin flame. The King of Swords, I saw the Queen of Swords in the pre-shuffle, so the King of Swords comes up. A rule maker, an architect, right? A motivational speaker, a director, or something like that. A editor, someone that has some sort of a platform. Maybe they um, they go live at night or they go live in the dark. Or this person uh, is they're very uh, wise when it when it comes to like deep topics. I'm getting occultism here with the moon card, the page of pentacles. Tokens of appreciation, small offers, thank yous, and that sort of thing. A student. So this person could be a teacher. Mm -hmm. Let's move over to the ethereal visions. Major Arcana of the Moon. Again, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Energy. Those water signs have been showing up heavy in the readings. Even with the Six of Cups here. It's a soulmate connection. Healing or spiritual flirtation. This person may be good with their words that's coming towards you. They're on some sort of an episodic journey. Maybe they're like a content creator and they release a lot of episodes or something like that. This would be like me being a content creator, King of Swords. My moon sign is, um, well, no, it's not. It's not. Um, that would be my rising sign. My moon sign is Aries. But um, the point is, this would be like uh, like me. Um, when I say episodic, um, this person probably does like a lot of episodic things. This would be like me um, releasing multiple um, readings for each Zodiac or something like that. Or, again, this may be a content creator. They could be anything. It's just every day they release content or consistently they release content or something like that. Well, this person always has work, like a motivational speaker that always has, they're very in demand. Yep. Yeah, I'm getting this person as a deep thinker. <laughs> you know what I'm getting in my head? Not not too many people. I mean, we name drop all day. You may know who they are. You may not know who they are. I'm getting <laughs> Umar Johnson. <laughs> Dr. Umar Johnson. <laughs> King of Swords. He loves talking to these women, don't he? <laughs> Representative of feminine energy. And he used to get paid to travel and talk to women. But let me stop name dropping. <laughs> These dudes be making so much noise in their car and their car don't be going nowhere. The 
say the 1920s or the 1950s, what's, what's the whole obsession with having a muscle car? Because they don't even be muscle cars. And making all this damn noise. Maybe you guys needed to hear that. I don't know. Maybe it resonated with some of you guys. I don't know. All right. What's the message here? Let's clarify the moon card first. For Pisces. Five of Pentacles. Physical displacement. A change up in uh, the work or the home life. A job change or a home change or a health change or concerns. Let's go ahead and clarify this Eight of Pentacles, death. Yeah, this person could have possibly lost a job or something like that. The Wheel of Fortune, karma and fate and destiny turning. It comes out on top of the Six of Cups. So again, this could be a soulmate of yours. Bringing in some sort of a luck. We're bringing in some sort of a change of fate here. Sometimes we are forced to our greatness, right? Our will of fortune, right? Whether it's like a home loss or a job loss to become an entrepreneur. Maybe even a home investor here, right? Someone uh, may be sick of leases and now they want to purchase a home. That's for some of you guys, you king of pinnacles, yeah. Mr. Moneybags, very successful. Mm -hmm. Comes out right after the Wheel of Fortune and comes out on top of the King of Swords. Yeah. So solidifying a contract as above, so below energy, right? Being mindful and being down to earth at the same time. Mm -hmm. Divine masculine energy. Yeah. Again, that could be a real estate agent or something like that, or a very, um, it could be a business owner or entrepreneur here. Someone mastering some sort of a money-making talent or endeavor. It's also a father figure and a husband. The Wheel of Fortune is my marriage ring card. Let's clarify this page of Pentacles because someone wants to bring you an offer, whether it's payment or it's a new commitment. The Six of Cups comes out again. Yeah, this is just twin flame soulmate. This is your person or your partner that's coming towards you. Mm -hmm. Yep, two sixes. They're bringing in some sort of a healing. They're bringing in some sort of a camaraderie. Um... Definitely bringing in love. They're bringing in nostalgic memories as well. Major Arcana. We got uh, Death in the Moon, so strong water sign energy. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. <laughs> Someone could be deeply intuitive or they feel hard here. Pause. Especially with these two sixes, the Six of Cups. Yeah, you guys have an energetic or uh, yeah, some sort of a psychic link or connection with each other. Right? Very powerful very intelligent yeah there's a lot of success to be had here we have consistent work the eight of pinnacles i don't know maybe someone's a budding uh, entrepreneur but this is they go from the page to the king so they definitely have the aptitude to what do i say good bring make their own luck and bring their own success mm -hmm. king of swords a strong strategist or some sort of a leader right it could be a counselor mm -hmm. Mm, an inadvertent therapist to children, possibly. Yeah. Battered women or something like that. Battered children or pe to people that lost their home. Homeless people or something like that. That's what I have for you. That was a very quick message. For Pisces. Anything I'm missing? Nope. It's just this person is going to be putting in a lot of effort towards some sort of a money-making endeavor. Again, like I said, being very consistent. Again, it could be, like, a, like I said, some sort of a motivational speaker, some sort of a deep thinker, or they speak to the emotions of people. They could be, like, their words are healing, possibly. Right? Speaking to the emotions of people, right? Bringing healing, right? This person may even be, uh, what do you call them, like a matchmaker, or relationships or a couple's counselor or something like that they let they allow people to reveal their emotions right and then the king of pinnacles the wheel of fortune yeah like it's almost like he's holding the wheel right the master of his universe and the master of his destiny right 
just again as an example you go from not worrying about what happens at a nine to five because you become your own entrepreneur or business owner right? yep. the five of pinnacles that's that change going from working for someone else to working for yourself now don't get me wrong working for yourself is probably going to be some of the most hardest work you ever had to do right you but it's well worth it here wheel of fortune is what you're uh, banking to hold on right death and the six of cups yeah a past life lover right death couldn't hold you guys back from each other so there's a revival or reconciliation or just some, some sort of a remembrance with two six of cups they definitely remember you with the feelings that you made them feel mm -hmm. yep yep that is what i have for you here pisces someone here is a healer they could be like um like that character um that you and mcgregor played dr sleep um or just a very strong lover, possibly a counselor or something like that. They may be um, like a clairvoyant. I'm not sure. Let me take a look. Now, they're more mm, they're more practical as the King of Pentacles, but the moon is here. So, again, they talk to the emotions of people. They can understand. I mean, they're probably empathetic and sympathetic. I don't, I'm not sure if they're like necessarily an energy reader or a psychic, though. Take it how it resonates. Typically... Um, multiple life cycles grant people mo multiple gifts and abilities though so i wouldn't put it back past them if they are a healer they have some sort of a healing gift though because they're able to read uh, the emotions of people but that's what i have for you here today like the video subscribe to the channel pisces hopefully you enjoyed the reading catch you guys on the next one peace happy father's day